time to drop the puck on the Stanley Cup playoffs here on EA Sports. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Oh, he misfires on that. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Jackson feels on the board just like that, and this crowd, we thought it was hot before. It's gone next level already. Well, it has, because it's the opening minute of the game when they score, and this is exactly what they wanted. You want to elevate the crowd. You want to get the momentum behind you. Man, they were off, they were hopping, and they dictated the pace. Florida's got the puck. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Play rolls on. Handles the puck at the point. And he takes a shot. With the stop. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. And here's a shot. Oh, what a stop on the play. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. And they skate it out of the danger zone. Sends it in front. What a chance, but that goes off target off a body in front. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. The Everblades will play it from the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. Sends it quickly to Aya Capelli. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Florida's in transition. Schultz works the puck in his own zone. Puts it on net. Oh, what a save by Cormier. Takes the feed. Just misses. Handles the pass. The Everblades are across the line and into the offensive end. Takes the shot. And that goes off a player in front. Puts it in deep. Battle along the boards. Florida's looking to break out. Darcy's picking up steam. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Sends the pass in front. Picked off in front. Russell's got the puck in his own zone. The Everblades scoop it up along the boards. Passes it over to Stales. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. A pops taking it from his own end. Dumps it into the O-zone. Tries to get the puck to Brown. Charge to the sweet spot. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around who can't get it done in the playoffs and he finds the back of the net that's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game getting closer to the halfway point of this frame Jacksonville's got a two goal lead they'd love to build on it the Everblades win the face off at center on the attack along the boards great defensive effort with the stick Jacksonville's got possession of the puck. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Here they come up along the wing. Shot! Too much traffic in the lane. Mobert's got it along the boards. Puck dumped in. The Icemen have taken possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Mersch. And the puck leaves the zone. 
sends it into the offensive zone. Jacksonville's got it in their own zone. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Gets the puck in deep. Quick feed to a pap. Sends the pass over. Shot! Tremendous save by Vernon! From his own end, he picks up the puck. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Picked up here in the neutral zone by a pop. The Everblades looking against the half wall. And he loses control here. Takes the pass. Uses the force on that hit. Florida's got it in their own zone. Slides the puck across to Pendenza. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Cockerell. Gaining momentum up along the side. Serving feed! Oh, he comes up with a stop. Moves it to Aya Capelli. The Icemen have gained possession off the wall. Tosses it to Carpenter. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. The Icemen have the puck in the defensive zone. Receives the pass. Jackson feels ready to go on the attack. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall. Still has possession. With some open space at center. Moberg's got... The Icemen have possession along the boards. Through center. To the low slot. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Handles the puck. Fires it on net. And that goes wide. And that's knocked away. Grabbed along the board by Cockerell. The Everglades have it against the wall. Big play inside the defensive zone. Jacksonville's got a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Chukarov. Into the attacking end. They fight for it along the boards. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Brown. Hey, a lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all-time great rock acts from the 80s getting set to play here for these fans. And we'll catch our friends back with more tomorrow. The Everblades gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Martin's got it in the defensive end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And he takes the pass. Florida's got it along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Condenza. And he makes the save on that play. Cockerell's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Along the half wall with the puck. Scores! And look at that! The rookie gets hit on the playoff scoring! Well, I'll talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. It takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. The Everblades needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. And a quick save on that one. Florida's got the puck at center. 
gets the full use of his stick on the poke track. Oh, there's a stomp of Zapana Glass got cracked after that heavy, heavy shot. Uh, it's all about safety first here, James, and they're going to make sure that they replace that pain. You know, if it's fired, if it's cracked, and uh, another shot comes or a big hit, that'll send it through to the fans. Here's the puck. Aya Capelli's got it in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Riley. Takes it and looks ahead. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Russell. Takes the feed at the point. Let's it go from the slot. Made that stop. That knocks him off the puck. Russell's stick handling in his own zone. Moves it to the middle. And it's blocked. Scooped up along the wall by Chikarov. And that goes off a body. Brown's working it around in the corner. Who knows that one? Headman pass. Taken by Russell. Jacksonville's got the puck in the defensive end. The Icemen have it now. Gun reach for the stick to knock the puck away. The Everblades will play it in their own end. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Moves it to the offensive zone. And he coughs it up with the pass. And he slides it quickly to Pendenza. Shot. Jacksonville's got control of it now from their own end. Along the side, here they come to the neutral zone. Sends it in on the attack. Takes the feed. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Harris plays it now. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Works it across to Panetta. Makes a move in front. And he opts to wait for more support. Quick shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Takes a shot. Battle along the wall. Oh, smart heads are play to put that one away. Nice zone entry from the left. The Everblades gain control of the puck. A puck's gaining momentum. Jacksonville's got the puck in their own end. Florida's gained possession along the boards. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by a puck. Takes it to the net. Jacksonville's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Moberg's lugging the puck. Pass right back. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. A chance in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Cockerell's moving the puck through his own zone. Here's a short pass to Ian Capelli. Stops him again. You know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Here's a chance, denied by Vernon. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. In close. Oh, what a save. Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. The Everblades gain control of the puck against the wall. Delayed penalty coming up here. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Florida's got the puck along the wall. Wessel Bloom stopping the play. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. Sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. Nice job to escape the zone. Sends a pass over. Left save made by Vernon. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. And Dens is ready to take the draw here on this power play. Jacksonville's taking possession in their own end. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. 
There's the whistle. We've got an offside. Browns gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Jacksonville's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone face-off. starting to generate more chances. This is exactly what you want. When the game is close, you have to find a way to get it back to equal. This one goes off the pipe, but they can't get frustrated. Just continue to pump away and generate those opportunities. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PKing. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four four action. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. And they send it down the ice. Jacksonville's looking to break out. And now he moves it quickly to Chukarov. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Suttering key! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Chance to reset here on the draw this man advantage. Puck is dropping and wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Sends it in deep. The Icemen have the puck against the boards. Florida's PK unit comes up big as both sides are back to even strength. Well, that power play really wasn't effective at all, James. The coach won't be happy. A lot of possession time, but it correlated to nothing. It had to create some motion and be quick to be able to open up seams and lanes to the net. Well, there you go. 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. and often when you stick to it, it all works out. Now they're trailing by one, so they are going to have to get on their course. They're going to have to be urgent on those loose pucks. But the way they played thus far, they have a chance to win this game. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Jacksonville's got the lead early in this third period. They have been a high-volume shooting squad tonight. Harris wins the defensive zone faceoff. The Everblades have it in the offensive end. Oh, how did he keep it? Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Well, this is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area. The puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's all tied up. The Everblades get a hold of the puck off the draw. Rocked them in the open ice. Here's a pass to the Well, he does a great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one-timer that he's able to get off beats the goaltender clean. The Everblades needed that in a big way. They now have the lead here in this third period. Well, it's been a back-and-forth game. It's really been neck and neck. And although I felt like they dictated the pace in this third period, it's about continuing to press and really try to smother their opponent. Slides the puck over. The Everblades have it now. 
looking to make something happen along the boards. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Picked up along the boards by Panetta. Puck knocked loose in neutral zone. Jacksonville's going on the attack as they gain the zone. There's a shot! Oh, and he gets in front of that to make a great save! Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Oh, and that's three! It's a hat trick here on the road! Well, old hat for him in a way because it's a business-like approach as he's on the road. He just says, yeah, just bring it. I mean, gets a hat in the boot. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. Florida's got another one here early in this third period, extending the lead to two. Yeah, the sticks might get a little bit looser or lighter right now, but they've got to make sure that that doesn't free them from their defensive responsibilities. Listen, a third period is a third period. You know your opponent's going to be urgent, and you have to find a way to close it out. Slick feed. And a stick break set up. Cormier's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. Fiddler Schultz is quick on the draw. The Icemen have gained control of the puck along the wall. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. And the play is whistled dead, and here's the call. Hitler Schultz is gonna get some time in the box for slashing. Florida's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they gotta find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill set. Pumped off the puck. Lodermeyer's gained the line and on the attack. Sends it down low. Florida's got the puck. He says, let's get physical on that play. Takes the puck at the point. Into the corner now. And he takes the feed. And that one stopped. Way too much congestion blocks that. Ten On their left. heels trying to get it out of the road end. And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. More than half the period left to play. 4-2 was the score. Florida's won the draw. The Everblades run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. It's amazing how a kill can put your opponent on their heels because they had an opportunity on the offensive side of the puck. At a critical time of the game, when the game is still within reach, massive kill. Cormier's got the puck, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here, just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. And they win the draw here in their own end. And a delay penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Takes the feed at center and moves up the head. Here comes the official's decision. The Icemen have put themselves down a man, tripping the call. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. Keeps 
possession on the play. Harris is about to get out of the box. Man advantages up, both teams back to even strength. Finding ways to get it done, James. That's what the PK unit does here, and they give their team life as they're still within reach of this game. And that's blocked in traffic. The Everblades move the puck in the defensive zone. Into the corner of the attacking area. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. They've got the defense outnumbered. Shot! Takes it right in the chest! And we're going to get a whistle here. Jacksonville's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. Hitler Schultz wins it in the offensive zone. Stop by the goaltender. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Takes the puck. And it's a quick pass to Panetta. And he takes the feed. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Everblades lead it 4-2. Florida's won the faceoff deep in their own end. The Everblades will play it from the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Stills. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Taken along the wall by Stills. Great stop by Vernon. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Florida's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Just fly to the net. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. Feeds the puck up to Martin. Moves it around along the half wall. And that's poked away by Harris. Someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Florida's got it in their own zone. The Everblades pick up steam and are on the attack. Here's a chance. Oh, that hits the cage. That's using your head. Goaltenders try to make themselves as big as possible, and it usually hits other parts of the body, but this one rattles right off the cage. Jacksonville's got to start to recognize a sense of urgency here. They continue to trail late in the third and have had plenty of chances, but can't finish. Picks up the puck in his own end. And he takes the dish. Big hit that frees up possession. And he slides it quickly to Coffero. With possession along the wall. Here's a chance and makes the save. Cormier's been really sharp tonight, James, and then just have a look at his save percentage, and he's making the stops that he needs to. But man, his team's played well. They've got going north, they've created opportunities, and the reason why, they have a healthy lead. The Everblades win the draw here in their own end. Riley's taking it from his own end. Moves it to the middle! Misses! Rips it in, rips it! Late goings of this period. Florida's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. The Everblades win the faceoff. Quick feed to Pendenza. Rips it on net. And that goes out the stick somewhere in traffic. Russell's got the puck in his own zone. Get to the Carries it in. For point blank. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. They've got the extra attacker out there, and Cheryl, we know what this means. Well, they'll have to get possession with that extra player on the ice. They'll look to win that draw and convert on their opportunity. And that's a great hits up from the offensive zone. Oh, what a save in front. Cornet's in the right spot at the right time. Just a brilliant save. 23 seconds now. Yeah, and this one will all but seal the deal. James, a real insurance marker, and a game well fought, and a win well earned. Is that empty net goal went in? Everyone on the bench.
bench and on the ice knew that that put the game to bed. Jacksonville's time is running out in this one to try to even things up. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but no finish tonight. Browns won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. the feed and that brings an end to this one here this evening look a series is not won or lost with the opening game but Cheryl I'd much rather have that win yeah, everyone would wouldn't they I mean it's such a long season you play it but then when you get to the playoffs you know there's a different set of nerves there's energy you know, you're in a series that's do or die and you got to figure out a way to get on top to get that first game under your belt just settles everyone in and you've got the leg up now on your opponent real nice start she's Cheryl Pounder I'm James Cebulski the playoffs roll on in the next broadcast and we know we will see you right then and there join us then see ya